It's groundbreaking research into the future of electric vehicles happening right in our backyard. Scientists from Argonne National Laboratory in Lamont working on visionary technology for the next generation of electric cars in this Weathering Tomorrow report. This isn't your typical gas station. What once housed tanks with fossil fuels at Argonne National Laboratory in Lamont is totally transformed. We're trying to envision a kernel of the future and um, show that there is a promise in a decarbonized transportation system in the future. Argonne Grid Integration Technology Scientist Dan Dobrzynski works here in this retrofitted gas station lab on the Argonne campus, testing charging technology and electric car batteries in an array of real-world scenarios. Extreme cold and heat, new fast charging methods, and new systems to charge off the grid. And the west side actually is, is coupled to the same circuits that power these charging stations. So this is actual solar renewable energy going right into the batteries. This could be the electric gas station of the future. Two canopies with solar cells that are powering cars right now. A massive battery that's also offsetting the strain on the grid for charging. And how to coordinate that and where which communities need uh, energy now and need that charging capacity now. That's where colleague Joshua Ald comes in. This is Chicago running through a day where everyone's driving, how much energy they're using, and we like to map that to see how anything we deploy on top of this, whether it's electrification or whether it's many of the other new and interesting automotive and, and mobility technologies that are coming out, how that influences the city. Ald and his team model real world use of electric vehicles and more, learning where demand and battery strain become highest and work with regional planning agencies on where to add new electric charging. We partner with a number of organizations in Chicago that are helping along with that uh, charger deployment and equitable deployment is, is another important factor. Less than a mile away, more Argonne scientists are testing artificial intelligence, autonomous driving and EVs. Are these automated systems, do they do better at driving uh, efficiently or not? And, right. and if they don't, what kind of controls can the, the, the computer guys do to, to make it a little bit better? Research engineer Michael Duova puts the self-driving electric cars of the future through rigorous tests. Even if it's just my hand, it knows that that's a hand of a human, right? So that's a person. In a spectrum of conditions in what's called a dynamometer, basically a treadmill for cars in extreme heat or we go down to zero degrees Fahrenheit, which is also another problem with electric cars, where right. the, the battery, either you have the choice, you either let the battery be very cold or you heat the battery, which consumes energy, right? Exactly. So there's a trade-off between the two extremes. And so we study all the different kinds of cars that they have. All in an effort to maximize EV efficiency. Emerging technologies, that's what we care about. Uh, how will they impact uh, our energy security and, 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 you know, and, and carbon emissions and so forth? And the beauty of all of this is that research is shared with cities, planning agencies, car manufacturers, so breakthroughs in Chicago can be made nationwide.